Uh, morning, Brian. Morning, Jenna. Oh, hello. How are you? Oh, it's, been a, it's a bit wet here in the zoo, Gemma. Your voice is uh, delicious this morning, Brian. Well, I'm Brian the Penguin. No! Brian the Penguin! I'm going to be your mascot, Gemma. Oh, it's so lovely to have you on. Oh, what a pleasure. Welcome. Oh, thank you, Gemma. I can't wait to be the mascot for the show. Oh, you already are, Brian. We love you. Oh, I love you too, Gemma. No more hanging out of that Grimmy. Oh, no, Grimmy's long gone. Yeah, thank you, it's yeah. Been, it spends too much time being sick. <laughs> We're the new G in town. <laughs> uh, well, we, we like that, Gemma. We love you. Oh. All the penguins in the zoo. Oh, hi, penguins. When the keepers are gone. <laughs> How are you feeling this morning, particularly? Oh, Gemma, I'm I'm a bit fat, but I feel good, good. Super good. Whoa! Oh, the first ever Brian the Penguin moment. Oh, uh, can you beat Brian the Penguin, who's over in London Zoo right now? I can indeed. Uh, I bet Brian's jealous, but he'd like to be going to the <laughs> South End on Sea today for a, a stick of rock and a peruse that, on the beach. Yeah. Poor, I mean, I reckon penguins are pretty used to being soaked, though. Do you know what I mean? Like, they just brush their shoulders in the face of wet. <laughs> 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 can't believe Brian called. <laughs> Cuthbert can't believe Brian called. Cuthbert has just texted who is the official London Zoo keeper uh, who introduced us to Bri Bri, the penguin, yesterday. And he's like, what? I didn't even see Brian was, was going off for a quick chat. One, two, one, two, one. <laughs> Before this, we can get away with anything. We've been eating patties, chatting to Brian the penguin. <laughs> Right, we were all over penguins before the penguin that dropped yesterday on the telly, all right? Everyone keeps going on about Monty, but it's definitely about Brian, okay? If you don't know, then you need to know. Forget Monty. Brian is a dude, fam. If you're still needing help waking up, if Avicii didn't do it for you, or Milky Chance, or certainly not Lana Del Rey, then maybe Cuthbert can help. Good morning, Cuthbert. Morning, Gemma. How are uh, you? I'm not bad. How goes it, mate? Not bad, not bad. Just uh, working with the giraffes this morning. Oh, my goodness. So uh, this is an amazing Groundhog Day. Cuthbert came to uh, find us yesterday, just illuminate our brains, ignite us with joy uh, when he told us about the fact that he works at London Zoo, was cleaning out the penguins, and that Brian is a big and regular listener uh, of Radio 1, Brian the Penguin. Forget about Monty. I mean, everyone's going on about that advert. and like, It was all about Brian in the first place. He was the original trendsetter, am I right, Cuthbert? But you're totally right. I can't believe Brian has just gone out on a whim and started calling calling you up. Do you know what I mean? He was bringing the show and everything, being part of Supergood. Unflipping believable. Uh, and if you didn't hear the show yesterday, it got so ridiculous that Grimmy was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I know Brian Totes. Me and Brian are totes, mate. Uh, and then oh. you can you can Google a picture of you just put in Nick Grimshaw uh, London Zoo penguins and Brian is to the left of him with the spikiest hair uh, and you know Grimmy was making the effort he's wearing a top hat and tails it, it can be done do it right now um, but it's not all about Bri Bri I know that there's rip-offs like Monty it is also about uh, another guy Brad yeah yeah Brad the giraffe he's a, he's a dude tell me about Brad this morning please Brad has been, he was, he was quiet, he was chilling out as it's night time, obviously, he was having a nap. He heard Brian on Radio 1. Yeah. And he just went mad. He took my beanie, he started running around with it, you know, he just started getting all leery and I had to chase him around. Oh. I, ended up, I ended up riding his neck around the enclosure trying to get my beanie back. I mean... It was ludicrous. Brian! Ooh. Pipe down! This is BBC Radio 1. <laughs> I love that Brian and Brad. Uh, it was Brad that went wild, yeah. Brad the giraffe. Oh, do you right, reckon... Brian thought that Brad went wild. Yeah, OK, I get it. Oh, man. Uh, Cuthbert, do you think that they would be up for a bit of Wicked at Wicked at Jungleist Massive this morning? Definitely. Yeah. They love that sort of thing. I reckon. 